What's up YouTube and all the ninja warriors out there? This is the Urban Ninja Blake. In this video, I'm going to be showing you my top five favorite grip training exercises. All right, let's get started. All right, so starting the list off at number one, we have campus board simulations. Now, if you haven't heard of campus boards, they are essentially small overhanging ledges that you traverse up vertically. This training method is highly used by rock climbers to gain finger strength. Now, the reason why I call it simulations is because you will be simulating the exact same actions just using larger handholds than a normal campus board. The purpose for using bigger size handholds is that your entire hand is being used and almost all the strength required comes from your grip and forearms as opposed to just on your fingertips. Also, another technique that simulates this exercise is by using the devil stairs or if you have access to the underneath side of a staircase. What this allows for is being able to distribute your weight on a flat surface across your hand and puts all the downward force solely on your open-handed grip. Traverse up and down a few times and you will definitely be feeling it. Up next at number four we have towel pull-up variations. By using a towel as opposed to a bar or flat grip, hanging on requires you to squeeze the towel together and put all of your effort into crushing the towel so you don't fall off. One advanced form is doing archer slides with the towel. This allows for the majority of your weight to be hanging off of one hand and requires nearly twice as much strength to hold yourself up. Coming to number three, we have PVC pipe rolls. This workout can be performed a number of different ways. By holding onto the PVC pipe with a pronated grip, slowly start rolling the pipe upward and towards you. The benefit of using a large PVC pipe as opposed to a smaller grip roller is that this requires you to put a lot more emphasis on just holding the pipe instead of rolling it up. The larger the pipe, the more difficult this becomes. A similar method can be done by placing a smaller PVC pipe over a bar and hanging from it. After you get comfortable with this, try recreating the twisting action of the roller. You'll notice that the spinning pipe requires much more effort and grip strength to be able to hold on to. Number two can be applied to almost any of your current workouts with just a little bit of modification fat grips. By replacing the current grip with the larger one, you are making the same workout much more difficult. One way to do this is by throwing your shirt or towel over a bar or ledge. With less friction and a more open-handed grip, holding on just became a lot harder. Also, start turning those bars on their sides and start hanging from vertical holds. I have 2 inch wide dowel rods that I do pull ups and hangs from. What this benefit is, is your ability to hold yourself from sliding down much more difficult than from a horizontal bar. PVC pipes and galvanized steel pipes can also be turned vertical to produce a much more difficult obstacle. So remember, vertical fat grips are key to getting iron grip strength. And finally, we've come to my all-time favorite technique to building insane grip strength, weighted dead hang variations. Yes, without a doubt, the best grip training technique requires you to do nothing more than just hang. While it may sound simple, this workout demands not only a strong grip, but mental focus to keep holding on. The amazing thing about this training exercise is you can incorporate it with hanging from towels, vertical fat grips, PVC pipes, and campus boards. I've taken the time to break down what I believe is the best way to progress on gaining maximum hanging strength. Start by hanging normally on a 1-inch bar to get comfortable. If you are able to hold on for more than 1 minute, you can move on to the next part. If not, keep on hanging until you can reach that one minute mark. The next step is to start adding movements in your hangs. By swinging from side to side in circles and front to back, you are creating more tension on your hands and your arms and making it harder to hold on. So start incorporating these movements until you are able to make it to two minutes. Once you do, or are already at that level, it's time to ramp it up. Invest in getting a weight vest or making your own. I use a 45 pound vest. From here, start back to just hanging with no or minimal movements until you are able to hang for two minutes or more with your vest on. Also, try hanging on with one arm as well to increase the difficulty of the training. Once you have completed this, keep pushing yourself to hang on as long as you can with one arm with the vest on. When you reach the level of being able to hold on for more than 10 minutes by alternating hanging off of one arm, you have truly reached grip strength mastery. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, send me an email or post a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, subscribe to my channel for more Ninja Warrior videos. And as always, I will see you in the next video.